was just like the seventeen year I was starting to lose my voice. Uh, so I'm gonna make this one quick. This is just a little update video of a couple test things that I've been working on that are finally almost done. Um, and the reason I'm kind of doing this and trying to promote my customizing because I, like I said earlier, I desperately need money. But most of the time, I end up doing trades for my customs. Um, one that I recently did, he was a show jumping warm blood. The girl just, um, she just showed him I think a couple days ago, and he man qualified, took first place, took second place. Um, and another one that I ha I had done for her last year took I think sixth place in a giant draft group. So not so good with the sixth place, but you know he still placed in the top ten. So I gotta be happy about that. And he's one of my older customs, so not as good as the ones I'm doing now. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a couple updates about the two horses that I'm working on right now. They are both four people, so I can't sell them, can't trade them, nothing. Um, I just wanted to give you examples of the work that I do. Um, everybody I've, you know, traded or sold to, they're all very happy with my models, and they pretty much, you know, they give me really good feedback with all of them, so. And I love doing it, so, um, that's the thing that matters most, right? So first I will start with this little plastic mare that I've been working on. Um, my, I apologize for my camera, it really sucks on this, it really sucks. Um, so she's only got a, she's got a few things left to be done, I have to, you know, finish her tail, she's got some, um, black still underneath there. Um, all of her markings, I don't know if you can see it, they're all mapped, everything. Even on her face, she's got some kissy spots on her nose, she's got pinking on her nose. I work with mixed media, I do acrylics. With my black and white paints, I do acrylics, um, sometimes oils, pencil, and I do pasteling for when I have pinking or anything like that. Um, so she's got a lot of detail for being little. She's got spots on her back side as well. She's really cute. My mom wants to see her, but I can't do that. I also do the striping on the hooves. Like I said, she's got some layers more to go. Um, I already have signed her on her belly because she's almost done. She's got two brown eyes. They're really detailed. If you can, yeah, you can't really see it, but they're detailed. They have her white still showing equally on both sides. Um, so that's her. She's really cute. <laughs> I kind of wish I could keep her because I really do like her. Um, anyway, and then the next one, da -da -da -da, he, I absolutely love him. I love how he's turning out. Um, the girl I'm doing him for, she lives in Canada. This is the only time. I didn't know she lived in Canada until I got her box, and I don't ship outside the United States because it worries the crap out of me. So please, no one in Canada or outside of the U.S. contact me about any customs because I can't do it. I've had a lot of problems, so I'm really hoping he gets to where he's supposed to go when he's done. Um, but she wanted kind of him to mimic Wind Talker on the Smarty Jones mold. Um, she wanted an exact replica, and I told her I can't do that because of infringement and copyright issues and all that kind of stuff. So I did a frame of arrow. He's really detailed. He's got one brown eye, you can see, one brown eye, really detailed, little white showing, and then his blue eye is really, really detailed too. He's got three layers of blue in his eye. Um, all of his markings are mapped as well, all of them, even on his face, and he's got pastel pinking on his nose. Um, I'm really, really proud of him. He's got spots on where his feet are, uh, going to be white. He has stripes on his feet as well. So I'm really, really proud of how he's turning out. He's just one of my favorites so far. And I love the Lone the Glory Mold. I love working with him. He's so clean to work with. Um, but yeah, so those are two of the customs that I'm working on right now. Uh, I will be getting a couple more in the studio soon, hopefully. Um, but let me know if you guys are interested in buying or trading. My prices are pretty fair. Uh, so, yeah, 
I think that's that's it for now. But like I said, I love the trade, and um, just let me know what you guys have. I mostly collect orig original finish in trade, but I also kind of the Smart Chicolina mold, the Ruffian mold, and um, what else am I trying to work on? My Lonesome Glories, but you know, just Smart Chicolina is my main focus. I absolutely love that mold. So um, that's it for now, and my next video will be a sale video. See you guys.